Hello beautiful people, welcome back to New Face Entertainment. We well, thank you, we appreciate you for coming and also for those who are coming for the first time, please hit the red subscribe button and God will continue to bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you. Seems, worship leader and songwriter took to her aid to celebrate the birthday of her look-alike and beautiful mother. She took a picture with her lovely mom. Likewise, other amazing photos were taken with her adorable daughter, husband, and her dad and mom, both now called grandma and grandpa. Let's join her in celebrating her sweet mom on her fun-filled birthday. Many more happy years to you grandma. Sinash was born by her lovely mother in Lagos, Nigeria. The 47-year-old singer has been an international gospel sensation for years, leading worship at a huge Pentecostal congregation and taking her music on tour around the world. Last year, Sinash became the first African gospel singer to tour in India. Her original music video for Waymaker Kama released in 2015, has been viewed over 151 million times. Lay Moore, a manager and talent scout for Integrity Music in the UK, first heard Sinash's music in 2014 when he received one of her albums during a trip to Nigeria. Integrity licensed Sinash's Waymaker to appear on two British worship compilations in 2018 and 2019. But Waymaker didn't take off among American evangelicals until Christian music godfather Michael W. Smith released it as a single in February, featuring longtime backup singer Vanessa Campagna and worship leader Madeline Barry. Integrity Music formally partnered with Sinash in July 2019, said Mark Nicholas, the company's vice president of song publishing. Her songs soon appeared on releases from Integrity artists like Leland whose Better Word album highlighted songs from other nations. It is obvious that this is a special song for this moment in history, and the fact that this song emerged from Africa makes it all the more compelling and to be celebrated, comma Nicholas told CT. Waymaker has been sung by Christians protesting in the wake of George Floyd's death, including in Milwaukee, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Indianapolis, where they sang it during a prayer vigil interrupted by police air gas. The song has been translated into 50 languages, and Sinash wrote that Waymaker has become a theme song sung in many languages, to bring hope and faith to many in distress during the COVID pandemic. In March, Smith released an Italian version at Priori Univilla again featuring Campagna, who is Italian and has family in Italy, which was one of the earliest hot spots for the coronavirus outside of Asia. Though some Sinash fans bemoan that Smith recorded her song, fearing he will steal her credit, Sinash is not concerned. In an interview with CNN Africa, Sinash said she is thrilled when artists can introduce her work to their audiences. The joy of a writer is that when you write a song, the whole world will sing it, because the song is really not about you, she said. If the song goes ahead of you to announce you before you even show up, that means the song is successful. American Church's quarantine anthem made its way to the States from Nigeria, where songwriter and Pentecostal worship leader Rosa Nashi Kalu Koro Igbu, known as Sinosh, first popularized Waymaker. Her hit has since topped the U.S. charts for both Christian airplay and church worship during the first months of the pandemic. As churches joined protests in U.S. cities in recent weeks, the song has also been sung by demonstrators marching for racial justice, calling out for God as a waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light and the darkness. Waymaker holds the top spot on the list of top 100 songs ranked by Christian Copyright Licensing International CCLI, based on use in churches. In April, the song also claimed two of the top ten spots on the Billboard Hot Christian Songs when Michael W. Smith and the band Leland both released popular renditions. It was the first song in the chart's history to hit the top ten twice at the same time. Performances of Waymaker by Mendeza and Passion took spots 39 and 40 on the same chart. Last month, Sinash also became the first African artist to rise to the top of the Billboard Christian Songwriters chart. 